I think the importing stuff is becoming a problem. <laughs> like I, <laughs> I didn't think this load was going to be this big. And I'm reaching a point where like, <laughs> I'm putting off playing this stuff because I wanted to make the video. Let's start with this ridiculous thing. This thing is probably the silliest thing I ever spent money on. Um, <laughs> this is a PlayStation controller that's specifically designed to play slot machines. You put in the coin, you pull the thing to start the reels, and then you stop the reels one at a time. It actually came in box. It's the patchy slot controller. Uh, not to be confused with a pachinko controller, which is what I thought I was getting without realizing it. Um, yeah, and this works for the PlayStation 1. Um, and since I, I have a lot of the games that will work with it, but they're all region locked. So I think in order to make it work, I'm going to have to get an adapter to make it work USB, which is a thing apparently. <clears throat> um, and that came along with Excite 94, Excite Stage 94, which is soccer, uh, for the Super Famicom. Good stuff. Actually very playable. But the big thing is this enormous load of PS1 games, um, which I picked up. That's really the big thing. So let's run through them real quick. The one and only game I've actually opened and played at this point is the original Gran Turismo, which I had at one point, and I put in the retro junk box, so I wanted to get another one. You know, big money if you want to get the PS1 version. Expect to pay, not big money, but expect to pay like $10, $15, $20, something like that. <clears throat> there it is. I can't remember how much I paid, but more on that in a minute. Can't remember what this is, but it didn't come with a case. Just the inserts. So, there's that. Um, Crash Bandicoot 3, which I'm really psyched about. Because I didn't think I won that. Turns out I did. Lake Masters... You want to do some fishing? I think this is either a, a visual novel or a dating simulator, but it was $2 because nobody wanted it. Uh, Heroine Dream, not to be confused with heroin. Heroine. And that is a thing. And I haven't tried it yet, so I couldn't tell you what it is. <laughs> what it is. We've got soccer again, uh, which should actually be really cool. Because Excite Stage 94 was a fun game. I've been enjoying that. We've got even more fishing. Uh, <laughs> Bass Landing 2. We've got uh, Breakout. The simple 1500 version of Breakout. We got these in America as the Age Tech games. Like Age Tech Chess and Age Tech, uh, you know, this, that, or the other. Um, and then over here, we have, this is my favorite of the bunch. Happy Diet, the dieting simulator. Look at this little guy, and he wants all the sweets. <laughs> this is the best part, okay? If you flip it over, it's played with a stair stepper controller, which I've looked for on eBay and have not yet been able to find. But I think that is hilarious and adorable at the same time. <laughs> and um, I usually emulate these games. That's how, they pl how I play them, but I might go as far as to see if... Uh, a Japanese PS1 is attainable. And I got a second copy of Gran Turismo. Yes, you're not wrong. Two copies. I bid on them both, thinking I would only win one. And one ended at $2, and one ended at $4. So there you go. So I have an extra copy of Gran Turismo. And I learned that once I open these little plastic bags, I can't get them back in. That's why this isn't in one, because I've played it. Uh, this is Simple 1500 Pachinko, because I like my Pachinko games. There you go. Uh, Gran Turismo 2, which I think the the Japanese artwork for Gran Turismo 2 is very telling because they started to look a lot more like this later on in the series. And uh, this one is actually a double box, whereas the first one is not. You know, in the, in the States, it was still a one-disc game, but they put the first one in a double one as well. Over here, we've got uh, Golf. And uh, this is uh, entitled Let's Be Pilots, I believe. That's how they listed it on the, uh, on the uh, uh, auction. So I'm guessing Flight Sim of some kind. We've got Nobunaga's Ambition, which uh, I love my Koei games. <laughs> and as much as like 
uh, a, 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 a strategy game that's only in Japanese is unplayable. I played so much Nobunaga's Ambition at this point. Uh, I, I could probably use a translator and muddle through it, but super cheap. Love Makoi games. Wanted to add that to the collection. And then finally we got Mahjong. That's all. So that's it. So what happened was uh, all of these hit eBay. They were being pennied out at the same time. And I put like a couple dollars on each one. And I ended up with way more than I thought I would. <laughs> Hence two copies of Gran Turismo. So yeah, I think all together was like 35 bucks tops. Um, but my goodness, I'm done for a while.